In this tutorial, we'll be creating this camera movement using After Effects. So I was working on a project using a lot of camera movements in 3D, and I figured this would be a good idea to make a tutorial on. I'm going to be using the native After Effects 3D, but you can obviously do this using Element as well. So let me just quickly set up a scene here. I have my text created. I'm going to make it a 3D text, and I'm going to create a camera. And I also want to make a solid for my floor. So let's name this floor make it slightly gray so we can see the shadows. I'll make it 3D as well. And let's give it some rotation on the X axis, then drag it down here. Let's scale it up, go into the geometry option, give it some actual depth, and I'll set the bevel depth to maybe four and style to angular. Now let's get to animating the camera. So the way I do this is I make sure everything is centered in 3D space first. So I'll select my text, hit Ctrl Alt Home to center the anchor point to my text and Ctrl Home to make sure it's centered to our scene in 3D as well. Then I'll create a new null object and I'll do the exact same thing. Make it 3D, center the anchor point and center it to my composition in 3D space. So if I move my camera here, you can see that my text and null object are in a similar place. Now I'll rename my null to maybe control and I'm going to parent my camera to it. So now if I animate the rotation, for example, of my null object, my camera is going around it. So it's basically holding it in the center like an anchor point and the camera is spinning around it. So I can do something like take my camera and I'm holding down Alt and using my mouse here to move around. Then I can place it somewhere around here, kind of similar to what you've seen in the beginning. And I can go into my orientation here, set a keyframe. Let's go to four second long. And I'm just going to give it some slight movement going around like so. So we just have this subtle movement of the camera spinning around it. And then I'll go to my Y rotation and give it a keyframe. Let's go to about here. And I want to make sure I'm spinning in the right direction. So I'm going to go the opposite way, set this to minus one on the evolutions, select these keyframes, hit F9, and I'll go into my graph, just smooth things out like so. So it starts off a bit faster and then slows it down. So now I'm going to have the Y rotation give us the full 360 and the orientation giving us the saddle continuous movement. So it should look something like this. And we can obviously animate our X and Y rotation here as well. So for example, I'll go to the final keyframe and I can animate these settings as well. So something like this. Now I can also use my camera position to give it some extra animation. So let's hit P, hold on shift and hit A to bring up these settings. Let's say about here, I'm going to set two keyframes and then go over here. And here again, I'm just holding Alt and right click left click to move my camera and we can create something like this. So just like a zoom in, I'll select them F9, go into the graph and something like this. So now we have it going around it, zooming in and the rotation is still going from the control. Now let me show you how I create my shadows and the floor as well, just in case you were curious. So I'll create a new light. And since I am using native AE, I'm going to be using the environment light, make sure cast shadow set to on and place this however we want to. So something like this should be good enough. Then I'll go to my floor layer, hit AA to bring up these settings and where it says accept shadows, I'll set it to only. So if I bring up the checkers here, you can see that our solid is basically acting like an alpha mat and we can only see the shadows on it. So what I can do here is duplicate this layer. Let's name this gradient. I'll drop it below here and I'm gonna go back to my settings here and set shadows to off. I'll grab the ellipse tool. I'm holding down control alt shift and I'm dragging from the center here, something like this. Let's feather it out on the mask and we can drop the opacity to maybe 50. So we have this spotlight kind of floor looking thing and the shadows are being casted as well. Now, once you're done with your composition, go ahead and add the motion blur. So I was using the built-in 
CC Force Motion Blur here, which helps us smooth things up by a lot. It does get a bit heavy, but it is worth it. So this is how you can create this type of movement in After Effects. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.